cannot remember the last time I was this nervous. Hey, Brie! <laughs> How are you, sweetie? Brie can sense my nerves and excitement. This is a really big deal. Um, Rio and I's lives are about to change, huh, Rio? Yeah. I've only ever seen him online. I've never met him in person. I have butterflies. It's gonna be different, but I want you to know you'll always be my best girl. And I know how much you've been missing having a doggy friend, and how much you miss Bo. Now you'll have your very own big little brother. I heard a story about a dog in Texas who was abandoned on the side of the road. So I reached out to my friend Bart and we devised a plan to go rescue him. All right, you heard the man, pay him. No? <laughs> It's like, which one do I choose? <laughs> Next to your ice cream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, look at you. All right, let's get back on the road. <laughs> there is a quote from one of my favorite musicians, Gregory Allen Isakoff, that says, if it weren't for second chances, we'd all be alone. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give this boy a second chance. Cause if there's one thing I've learned in this crazy life, it's that love is worth the risk. Hey Alyssa, just wanted to get one last clip in for you and say we're about an hour away and I think you're really gonna love him. And I think it's safe to say that Rio's gonna love him too. He's gonna go to a good home. Look at him, look at that face. All right, it's time for us to get back on the road. Oh my goodness, they're pulling in. Rio, it's Uncle Bart, sweetie. Rio, is that one of your favorite people in the world? Who is that? You wanna say hi? Oh my goodness. Who is that? <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Holy crap, he's huge. He likes blood scratches. Do you like it, Bart? I do, I do. Do you like it? It's also for you, Bart. Welcome <laughs> home, Bart. <laughs> You miss Uncle mm -hmm. Bart, honey. Yes. <laughs> I love you too. Well, Rio seems excited and unsure. This guy seems tired. I think he's he's had quite the trip. For the next few days, Rio, myself, and this big guy just took it easy at the cottage and got acquainted with each other because we wanted to see if we could be his new forever home. Do you think he's getting comfortable <laughs> so it has been a few days since i've picked up the camera and talked to you guys we have 
added four new paws to the family. He does have a name, but I'm gonna share that with you in just a few minutes. So I have been keeping this a secret uh, for a few weeks now, and it's been so hard, um, but I wanted to make sure that this guy had some time to adjust and for Rio to adjust and to see if we were gonna be able to provide him with the love and home that he deserves. And so far it's it's going great. I found this guy on Pet Finder. He is a whopping 130 pounds. He's a big boy, yes. This sweet boy was found abandoned on the side of the highway. It was initially called in as a hit dog. Turns out he wasn't hit. He was just laying down and waiting. They realized someone just dumped him on the side of the road because he didn't have the traditional signs of being a stray. Dead giveaway was that he was at a very healthy weight. He was not starving. So this sweet boy was dumped and then waited for days for his family to come back to him. And that just breaks my heart, but it shows how sweet and loving and loyal this dog is. He was picked up off the highway December 30th, brought into a shelter, and then when no one claimed him, he got put into a foster home, which was great. But luckily, one of my dear friends, Bart Berg, many of you probably watch his YouTube channel, he lives in Texas, and he just so happens to be a delivery driver as a profession. So I reached out to Bart and asked if he was able to deliver dogs, and he said yes. So thanks to Uncle Bart, he was able to be transported right to the front door. So after dropping him off, Bart continued into Colorado to visit more friends and make a few more deliveries, so that way, this guy, me and Rio, have had a few days to adjust to the house. And so far, it's been really, really great. And I'm so proud of Rio for the adjusting that she's gone through. It's always just been me and her. So I've been pretty nervous about introducing another dog into the family just because I want Rio to feel comfortable. Um, and it is an adjustment period and we're still new, but the fact that we've adjusted so well so quickly um, gets me really excited and it makes me feel like this is definitely his forever home. We are going to be doing one of these dog DNA tests. We think he's Great Pyrenees Anatolian Shepherd mix. Now if any of you guys know what an Anatolian Shepherd is, don't freak out. I know they have a bit of a reputation. So for those of you who don't know, an Anatolian Shepherd, which is sometimes known as a Kangal. The Anatolian Shepherd Kangal dog, they are bred to be wolf and bear killers, which gives them a bit of an intense reputation. If you Google it, you're gonna see some intense imagery. Don't freak out. The Anatolian Shepherd is actually one of the oldest dog breeds known to man. They were bred to protect their flock and their family, and because of their genetic predisposition, they also have the strongest bite force of any dog, far more than the pit bull, the GSD, the Connick Corso, any of the Mastiffs, even wolves. Yes, they're extremely protective and capable of protecting their family, but that's because they love their family so dearly. So Anatolian Shepherds are incredible family dogs. They're known to be really great with children even. Yeah, boy. Hey, boy, we talk about you. I got him not only as a family member for me and really importantly, a sibling for Rio, but he also has the job of guarding the homestead. You know, now that I have a piece of property. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he wasn't done. He will have the job of guarding the house, protecting me, protecting Rio. Rio is an incredible watchdog, but she doesn't have the bite, the bark, the weight to back it up. It's already woken me up twice in the middle of the night just to alert me to something outside. The fact that he's already wanting to protect the house makes me feel so good. Bart is coming back and he's gonna be hanging out with us for a few days and we're gonna throw this sweet boy a welcome home party. I have picked out a name. And I'm gonna announce that at his party. You're gonna have a party, yeah! And so I'm gonna go ahead and pack the anchor cooler of some goodies. We're gonna invite some other friends over. We're gonna have a welcome home party, announce this sweet boy's name. If you have any guesses of what the name is, go ahead and put it down in the comments right now. I'll give you a hint, it's four letters. But very quick before we go, 
I want to very quickly thank Anchor, who has been the biggest supporter of this channel for sponsoring today's video. This is the not yet launched Everfrost Cooler by Anchor that is releasing very soon that you guys get pre-order access to. This is the longest lasting ice-free cooler about to hit the market. It lasts up to 42 hours on a single charge, or if you plug in just one Anchor solar panel, it can run 24 seven, which is crazy. So here are a few of my favorite features. The pull handle also doubles as a prep table. It has a light on the inside and the lid snaps firmly shut. The digital display makes it very easy to change settings and set the temperature. And you're not gonna believe this, but the battery has charging ports and can be removed for portable power. I would highly recommend this to anyone who does camping, car dwelling, overlanding, or just likes to enjoy some time outside. So this is the best part right here. If you click the link down below in my description, you get 45% off. This is a very special crowdfunding discount only, and you all get access to this pre-order. If you're wanting to invest in a product like this, maybe for summer camping, definitely just buy it now because you're never gonna get a discount like this again. Just click that link below, order it today. You're gonna save yourself a lot of money. Thank you, Anchor, for sponsoring today's video and giving my viewers access to the best discounts. <laughs> Welcome. Someone remembers Uncle Bart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uncle Bart came back. We've got Auntie Kenzie. She's the flower angel for the event. <laughs> for the event, she came with flowers. These sweet little moments are what make life worth living. I really want to make it a point to curate and celebrate moments like these more often. I mean, good friends and second chances. It really doesn't get much better than this. Bringing someone new into your life is always a little nerve wracking. There's always the risk of it not working out or of getting hurt. But this life is short. And frankly, it's a guarantee that things don't always go to plan and that I will get hurt. So why not take a risk at the good things, at the second chances, at the love that could be? If I know I'm going to get hurt, I'd like to get hurt taking a shot at the things that make this life worth living. Love, family, growth, healing. Adopting this sweet boy is just a small example of the risks that I want to take. I'm building my family. I'm building a life of love and second chances. And it's such an honor to welcome him home. Okay, everybody come here. This is a very special moment. Here you go. Here you go, Rio. We are all gathered here today to welcome a very sweet and good boy to the family. Dear, here. <laughs> here, here. We are so excited to have Koji as part of the family. To Koji! To Koji! Cheers! Sweet boy. The name Koji means to cultivate peace or double the happiness. And since he is the second addition to the family, I think the name is just perfect. adopted Koji from Austin Animal Center, which is the largest no-kill animal shelter in the United States. They provide shelter to more than 18,000 animals every year. They are working around the clock and are always in need of resources. So if you would like to support this organization and help save other animals like Koji, AAC's Amazon wishlist is linked below.